So we're going to look at finding the displacement from a velocity time graph. To do this, you have to write, this is for, you do get a marking exam for this, displacement equals area under graph. So what we've done is the blue line is the graph, and I've just taken uh, the graph and used the red pen to divide it into different shapes. So if I find the area of all these different shapes, so obviously A is a triangle, B is a square, C a rectangle, D another triangle, find out the area of all these individual shapes, and then my total displacement is the area of all these shapes added together. So I'm just going to go in and write down, so there's my formula for the area of a triangle. So it's a half times 2 times 2. So that's obviously going to be 2. Um, B is base times the height because it's square, so it's just 2 by 2, so 4. C is uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 times 4, so that must be 12. And D is another triangle, so it is a half times 1 times, and that goes all the way up to 4. Um, so it's half of 4, which is 2. So my total display is going to be the area of A, which is 2, plus the area of B, which is 4, plus the area of C, which is 12, plus the area of D, which is 2. So it's basically um, 20. It's 20 metres is my displacement. Now you can see here from this graph, this graph does not start velocity does not start from zero. The displacement equals the total area under the whole graph. So even if it starts and the velocity isn't zero, it is the area under the whole graph that gives you the displacement.